Here now with reaction, the author of Trial of the Century, Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett, and former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi. Greg, Pam, thanks for being here. So once may be a coincidence, Greg, twice from two different federal agencies, same guy releasing dangerous information. Maybe it's coordinated. I don't know. Yeah, I don't believe in coincidences, uh, Pete. You know, is it a coincidence the IRS goes after Taibbi right after he exposes the FBI for its lawlessness? And then, you know, the IRS shows up magically at his house the same day he testifies in front of Congress. You'd have to be a gullible idiot to not see the obvious connection. It's a pattern of abuse by Joe Biden's government. If you report on corruption, then corrupt actors will immediately target you. You know, you've seen it with Biden's IRS, the DOJ, the FBI, the intel community. They will descend on you like locusts. They want to frighten and intimidate to shut you down, to silence you. And to his great credit, Taibbi will not be bullied. And he revealed what the IRS did. They moved to punish him for free speech that they just didn't like. And when he exposed it, you know, the IRS comes up with all these transparent lies to cover up what they had done. This is the same M.O., at the Department of Injustice, the FBI, they're like Richard Nixon's dirty tricksters. You remember they compiled an enemies list. Well, Joe Biden has got one and he'll sick his attack dogs on you if you dare to criticize. Yeah, mm -hmm. Pam, you know, you were the top cop in, in Florida. Is it common practice that on Christmas Eve, on a Saturday, <laughs> someone who's just now made it into the news faces a probe? Uh, boy, I, I wish that it was possible to get people out on Christmas Eve on a Saturday <laughs> to investigate crimes. And this wasn't even a crime, nor is this what our yeah. founders intended our government to be. You know what the IRS mission statement is, is to help people understand their tax responsibilities and to enforce the law with integrity and fairness to all. Really? You know, so now we're learning that they are using, being used by the FBI to intimidate, to threaten, to bully anyone who's going to stand up or cross or speak against the FBI. So now we have another one to add to our list who's truly been weaponized by the Biden administration. And it, it, again, it should frighten all Americans what they're doing. For sure. Greg, do we have any sense of where these things emanate from? Is this a is this a is this who makes the call? And not that you would know, but you've done so much reporting, so much writing on how these things come together, the corruption, the collusion, uh, the effects, the attempts to weaponize government, weaponize justice. Is this is this a, a need to know basis, arm's length distance from the White House to the DOJ? You have your marching orders. Go ahead and do it. How do these things get executed? Well, either indirectly or directly by uh, the big guy uh, who we now know from uh, the laptop is is Joe Biden. Look, there, there are plenty of rogue people running around doing what they think Biden wants them to do. But one wonders, you know, uh, during Watergate, Richard Nixon was directing a lot of it personally, especially the cover up. And the, the evidence is overwhelming, Pete. You've got these malign government actors running a protection racket for the Bidens. You know, it, you know, makes the mob look uh, quaint and small by comparison. You know, whistleblowers, and you, you were talking about this a moment ago, they offered compelling evidence that the criminal probe into Biden influence peddling met a brick wall by the president's own appointees, U.S. attorneys and others who were intervening. The FBI buried incriminating evidence. And, you know, these whistleblowers describe naked favoritism, political interference in a case that directly implicates Joe Biden in apparent crime. So he has every motive to be directing these malicious acts, retribution, retaliation, sicking mm -hmm. the IRS on people, uh, you know, one wonders, is it in the Oval Office? Yeah, maybe there's tapes. Maybe we'll find out someday, Greg. There was once, maybe twice. Uh, Pam, we're about to yeah. enter, we are in presidential primary season. Uh, we are in the place where candidates' fortunes are going to rise and fall. And Donald Trump made a statement recently about, hey, wait until they come after you to his uh, top opponent in the Republican primary. 
What assurances would any Republican have? I mean, Donald Trump was weaponized for he has they've gone after him for years. We know that. But why wouldn't they use similar tactics against any other Republican that's rising in the ranks? And, and how do you guard against that? Can you? Pete. Pete, they can't, and they will, and we know they will. And remember when Donald Trump said, they're not coming after me, they're coming after you, and I'm standing in the way. And this is the perfect example of it. And with the IRS, I guarantee you there is going to be a paper trail of it, and Jim Jordan will find it, because these people think they're above the law, the IRS, the FBI, the Justice Department, because if they're working in concert with the Biden administration, they think nothing can happen to them, and that's why they're going to come after all of our candidates, anyone who will cross them. They went after a journalist who's not going to be intimidated by them. And yes, it's going to catch up with them. And thank goodness again, we took back the House because Jim Jordan and Congress, they're going to get to the bottom of it. They have to for all Americans, Pete. Yeah, I think I think I think Kevin McCarthy, Jim Jordan, James Comer and others have have yep. taken their mandate to do what they can. Uh, but Greg, I'm going to ask this to both of you. If you were if you were in the Oval Office the day after a new Republican president were elected, what would your directive be to them to correct this two-tiered justice system? How do you rip it out and change it? Well, I'll I'll begin with the with FBI. Were... I would dismantle yeah, exactly. and I'll start with Greg real quick. It. Let me start with Greg. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I'd start with the FBI, dismantle and deconstruct it and build it anew. Look. Uh, the bread and butter of the FBI, uh, the rank and file, these are honest, honorable people. They do great work. It's, it's you know, the Hoover building, uh, you know, the seventh floor. And, and it is absolutely riven with corruption. And then I'd move to the Department of Justice and I'd clean house there to make sure that it is honest in the way that they pursue cases. You know, you don't go after Catholics. Uh, you know, as terrorists, you, you don't go after parents who dare to complain at school board meetings. Uh, you protect uh, justices uh, when they're being threatened, justices of the U.S. Supreme Court. You enforce the law. After all, when you're sworn uh, in as president, you're, you're sworn to uphold and execute faithfully all the laws. It's about time we had a president who actually did that. Mm -hmm. Pam, you know, you saw the the outrage, the the feigning outrage when James Comer or James Comey was 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 fired, or Andy McCabe can barely get removed. So, whoever does this is going to face an onslaught like they've probably never seen. Yeah, well, and again, I would say exactly what Greg said. It starts at the top with justice. You put in an attorney general who is not scared of anybody and will take out the people who are not honest. They're throughout the Justice Department, but there are some great real prosecutors in the Justice Department. You move on to the FBI, replace them, move those guys all over the country if you can't fire them, disarm them, put the good street agents to work to do the job they were put there to do protect children, go after kidnappers, child pornography. And then you continue on with DEA. Give them more resources to fight this international drug crisis we're facing. Homeland Security, strengthen them, don't cut them. Build the wall and do everything that President Trump did his first term and what Biden is not doing now to protect Americans. That's pretty easy on yeah, day that's one. Gonna that would apply to every agency. So the onslaught would be mm -hmm. total from the bureaucracy, but that would mean you're right over the target. Greg and Pam, thank you both. Appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.